one win, two losses, the same story for NIP and Spirit, calling it a rocky start. Rez in the interview, we had Magix earlier saying that NIP, one of the few teams they consider the biggest threat. So, we can step into the ring, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats. Let's get those lights off in the studio so we can see all of these juicy frags going down. Hampus likely to be the first to be tested and already he's got people closing down on him. He gets the info on the reload, but he's already in a lot of jeopardy. A lot of players pushing him down. Eventually the war of attrition is won and now twist gone too. This is nice. Very fast into the yard. Lobby control lost and they'll deny that together in partnership. Oh, oh Julie's. Oh, oh, oh Julie's. Oh, 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 didn't see it work out well yesterday when we got to see it on Luke. So I, I, I maintain excited. Uh, for the prospect of them. But for now, that's going to okay. make me happy enough. Magix gets his head very surgically precision uh, action there oh. from him, but Sunday Young instantaneously. Yeah, Nork needed no to trade that. Yeah, let's see what Plopsky can do, though. A casual 1v3. Sunday Young's already feeling himself. And I just bounce once in on the action. Good pace to kick things off. It was a fast one there from Team Spirit. Contrasting that to their Mirage T-Sides. We'll see if it's changed up when we get to map number two. That one is guaranteed to be seen today. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. It's not It's not potentially anything. No, I it's know. It's guaranteed. I, I really did love that potentially. Uh, just pot guys, this could potentially be the second uh, round of the... No, wait, it is uh, definitely the second yeah, round 110%. of the game. Yeah, 110%. But with the, Okay, check this out. This is what more astrology, and Chad, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this whole kind of, it's Deagle's no Kev, but the utility buying time, like there is still a world where you can contest, but you're not crippling yourselves uh, with a full investment. Yeah, look, the armor is great, but uh, in this situation, you can probably go for the Deagle's this round with the light utility, and then the following, maybe just have a couple of P250s. Right. You know, you're, you're giving a lobby crunch. Precisely. Ooh, you're, you're. And knowing how good they can be with the Deagles, as long as they contain the rotations, which they are doing. Rez is already towards the lower side of things. They have a couple mm. of members over towards ramp, being a little bit more passive towards that top site. All NIP need to do is find one straggling head, and that'll slow down this crawl from Spirit. This could be the first. They're all in the right place. Rez is going to be pushed away, but this double stack on Ram is going to be exciting. Nork waited for a couple of shots to come through, and that's exactly the intention. Gorgeous play set into place, but they still need a little bit more. The That'd supports. be ideal. It, that. Yeah, exactly. And Magix is low. So low. I'm okay. He hasn't gone down. Nork, he's got himself a triple. No armor on these Desert Eagles, and already NIMP making quite the statement. An armored AK. Chopper, been lingering around there for a long time. Rez cautious. If he gets on that as well, he's got such a good line of sight for the advance. Continues to not make any sound. Chopper, unannounced as well. They had a nade exchange. Rez is cognizant that there could be someone there. SDY, however, maneuvering that bomb to the top site and nobody in a position to contest. Where's Twist, though? Oh, oh I need to eat my words. He could be causing some real issues here. Chopper can pivot up the vent, but it will come down to Twist. Steps and a chance. Halves the health of the AK-47. Bomb to be planted, SDY to babysit. There's that final player, Rez. Yeah, he has to go around to ladder or lobby. If he was to come at the vent, it's like whack-a-mole at that point. So Rez is going to have a shot and see. Maybe he just wants to grab a gun from the ramp attack. That could be a saved weapon for him to carry into the next round because retaking this... Oh, hold up. SDY is well aware of the prospect. Oh, the timing could be yeah, he just could, right. He could get everything he needs here. Hello, hello. I'll take that. 16 bullets, that's enough to hold this lobby cross. He wants more. He's not considering it, is no, he? No, 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 but he might find Chopper. He could will find Chopper. See if the oh. he, he didn't want to go around the corner. Oh, Wait, oh Chopper's going to moonwalk into it. Awesome. So I'm like, uh, res run, you don't know what trouble you're in, boy. Oh my good lord, okay. Honestly, NIP, I love that little ramp setup. That was everything to me. Obviously, it rounded out quite well towards the end, too, with Rez doing what he did. But this, the nades, you had twist there, you had everyone coming in on it. Love a bit of it. Yeah, I mean, I was actually surprised. I thought the nade dunk, dunked Magix, but you can see him being added as the third name in that feed. I don't think NIP are going to be too displeased with that. Twist might be a little bit upset that he didn't convert one kill there. The position sure. he was playing super late round, you don't normally get that checked. You don't expect a player to be up there at that at that timing of the round. So uh, maybe feeling he could have converted. But once again, you can see the Deagle spread. They're giving themselves the double dip in this regard. And the AK-47 in the hands of Rez. Well, it's a oh, top rush. Okay, it's yeah. Quick. Real fast into the top site. And nobody's home. Mir has removed That's the first the AK. Hand. That's the AK. Twist maybe oh. getting some justice. Has found the first, mollied out of position, no smokes for the retake. Plopsky hoping to catch him, he did, with his knife out. Bloody That's hell. That's humiliating, but caught back by disbalance. The AK no longer in play, at least one of them. Twist still from heaven with his. Chopper has a smoke for main. If he drops that, Hampus can be ahead. 
Time still ticking and no kits, but damage to be inflicted here. I'm scared of these post-plant positions for Spirit, no, okay. but keep in mind, they do have two rifles. They're still okay. They've got mollies yeah, and smokes. If there's any sort of real shot at this, it has to be now. I don't think they've really got much time on it now, but they have done a great deal of damage. I just balance... Instantly quelling the threat that was building. Nork's done well. They are certainly putting these T's to their paces, but did there? No, okay, I was thinking if Nork could maybe get a rifle for himself. No, but Twist does. So, I mean, this, Chad, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is probably pretty dreamy for NIP. Other than converting to a round win, which would have, of course, been better, they've managed to keep this down to a... Was that two players? Two players surviving. And then previously just, uh, one. Yeah. So you've kept the T's relatively honest here. Indeed. I, I just think the bigger problem that they may be having is, is the bomb plant. So ah, touche. So that's... Uh, maybe it offsets across. it a little bit. It's good damage and it's threatening rounds. It's keeping them on their toes. Oh, someone's got a morph suit on here in the middle. Respect to the morph suit gang. I think we got knockoff ones, though. I think they're just called M suits. Yeah, just M suits. <laughs> okay, I, I wanted something delivered Not quickly here, right? No, dude, that, was, that wasn't me complaining about my free green. Oh, orgs crap. out. Orgs out on Plopsky. You bang, you bang on there, Alex. We've seen it straight away. Okay. I got excited about the wrong thing. It's all right, though. Rush caught it, as always. Safe hands. Safe hands. Plopsky on that org. Where did you? Yeah, you're it was right. Just to up, it was on site. I was kind of hoping it'd be somewhere a little bit more ratty, like one of those I mean, little angles. It doesn't get stronger than this, though. When you've got someone as, with his reactions as quick as Plopsky's, the fact of the matter is he's holding top site, enabling Res to completely dedicate to this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm. Overly deep smoke on main. Whether that's indicative of a fake, Mir is above Res as we speak. So that could be a factor playing into this one. But we'll be pausing, has control of the secret position in a very powerful angle there. Gathering now towards the lobby. So much util still. It can't help but feel that they, their intentions are to leave Mir and assault this ramp room. Nork with the AWP does have the perfect weapon for the job. Misses his shot, actually. This could get problematic. He's forced to dip out. Nade does more significant damage, but it's only going to soften him up for the Org and the M4. Well, they've got the ramp control. I don't know what they're going to do with it. They've gone at that. They forced the player back, removing CT control, but they're down to 35 seconds. We worry about these late... Round hits coming from Spirit. It didn't work so well before, and it looks like NIP are more than prepared, still in the correct positioning, unless they doubt themselves. Let's see the timing on Mir here, though. Yeah, if he, if he kills Rez, he can open up the site. Whoa, Rez was ready. 19, they have to push it. Popsky's in such a perfect position. He's locked it down. Twist as well. NIP have read them like a book. Nice shot from Disbalance. Doesn't have the time to win the round, but it's still three frags in it. And it does put the T's down into turmoil. Now, if you uh, missed our post-game interview with Her uh, with Heroic, we had Tessus on the show, and we were asking him about the uh, ability to pick up the org. It was actually Nico and Tessus on the map of Nuke yesterday, using it a lot. Here you can see the shadow for that kill. Now, this is what I want to point out. The close range of this duel allows the org to be a one-shot headshot, right? There's obviously damage down. We saw the grenade, but the, the whole point there is he's not going to have to worry about the M4 and then spamming and bringing down and then having to readjust. You could see how easy it was for Plopsky to take down those two frags. You just get a really short AK. Yeah, stubby. A stubby boy. Oh, like AK-74U. An AK sword off. <laughs> um, T's now. Money's been pretty much humbled. I guess uh, P250 is all we got. Go on. No. I don't think nades make a bonk. I don't know why in my head I think that's the case. I think we just go back to our days watching Looney Tunes. Maybe. Yeah. You know? Maybe. Really oh, He's yeah. working on tiniest margins. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. Just trying to pluck these little mosquitoes yard. out of the air with some chopsticks. Uh, uh. Mr. Miyagi's up next, Alex. Yeah, um, uh, I mean, poor old Hampus. He just wants one frag. Give it to him. Give him the first. Hey. There it is. Chopper goes down. Hey. Oh, does magic. Oh. oh, stolen by Rez. Everyone's furious. No fist bumps for him. I wonder if they're still boot camping with each other. For Cologne, they were all together. It didn't look like Rez was oh, in the facility. you're right. It looks like they've no. gone home for this gone one. gone home for this one, yeah. I guess that's nice. When you've got round robin for five weeks straight, it is, it's more Not nose good. to the grindstone, refining what you're working on. I think the boot camp's going to have laid the foundations for a, a uh, productive yeah. time at home. Maybe they'll go back in for New York or something. Yeah, you'd imagine. Lines. Yeah. Also, that global challenge was announced. We'd be interested to see if we get to see the likes of NIP. Mm. And that's a good start, but finished off nicely. So... Hampus with a triple. We talked about him being yet to frag while well, he's certainly contributing now against the Eco. Back to the Galils, the Mac 10s, and all of the goodies they could desire. 
Chad, I still don't have the God Flash. I watched the, the pro tip from Rushley. Mm. I just it's haven't gone flash. and practiced it. Just a God Flash for top sight. It's difficult. It does. It, oh, is it, it looks the, like, like it's about feeling more than anything else. Yeah, once you once you get the the, the rhythm to it. Yeah, because it's up the ladder. Yeah. It's a blip. You have to be aiming, letting go. It's all it's all one motion. It's not stop, stand, still, throw. It's yeah. it all has I'm to be. I'm up the ladder. I've found it. I've let it go. Here we go. Here's ah. one. Oh, it looked really easy. Yeah, it's a different sure. one than the one Rush did, but it is very difficult. Oh, it looks simple as anything, Alex. What's the problem? Simple. Come on, yeah, mate. Come on, mate. Anyway, guns back out for Spirit. No more Glocks, no more P250s. It's all rifles. Are in that tent. And that's Ooh. messy as anything, but cleaned up nicely by Disbalance. Finding both of the players there has actually kind of given them a really decent shot at this. Hampus, no though. This could be sick. This space with that molly there, he doesn't have to be hindered completely if they did want to make something happen from it, but Mir and I disbalance the vent duo just hanging out. Bomb's not planted yet. Oh, okay. Uh. Very nice find from Chopper. Nor and I struggle to contribute now with the AWP. And Mir is hitting his head as he needs to. Nor might want to consider save, save here. Mm. Mm. Okay. What's in those buckets on the right? Is that like their bins? I think it's like, are they, is it paint? If it's a nuclear facility. Oh, those buckets. Yeah. What is Some it sort of like uh, stuff. Decontamination dispo. Oh, so that's where you put all your ha your hazmats. Okay. Put your bibbly bobblies. Your, your towels. Rush, can you go up to the to the bucket up top near the ladder where they're throwing the one way smoke? We can show everybody at home. That one. This little bucket here, ladies Premium. and gentlemen. If you're just underarming a smoke onto this, what it's going to do is to go top ladder for us, Rush. It's going to create a... They're perfect. You and MC. Well, I don't know if it was you and MC, but you guys as a combo. You're beautiful. Uh, you've be, you'll see the smoke. It'll come through the wall. It'll make a little bit of a bloom that you're able to peer on over and peek over to try and find a pick into that top side, which can be very, very pesky. So that little bucket, maybe you're playing nuke, maybe you're locked out of top. Drop that bad boy down. So you're a you ramp player and your rotates heaven always suck. Really nice one to add to your arsenal. But chances are you might still have your smoke if you're just doing the incendiary to stop them. This was disbalance saving the day. I mean, if if, it, if Rez gets that frag, it looks very different. And he was trying his very, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I'd be, the face I'd be putting. He's also- Hugo Boss Man. He's a Hugo Boss Man. Yeah, I, that, I used to have that one. You, we get, you get, you're on some, the Jack Jones now lifestyle. How you finding him? Honestly, my Jack Jones bottom is significantly more comfortable. Sorry, um, what are you talking about? Oh, we went out, we bought underwear. Bought underwear from Jack Jones. Oh, you feel so now, the I, mean, I, I don't want to say I'm wearing the same underwear as device, but like I'm wearing the same underwear as device. So, so the all pink, all time high? That's what I'm saying. Okay, RPK okay. cosplay, device underwear. Oh, nice that's shots. that's nice. Bit of a switch up here. Hampus being proactive Ooh. in the shadow. It gives more than though. away. But yes, you're right. Chopper did somehow slip through the cracks just before he kind of peeked into this one. But Chopper's position, I wonder how much he can get out of it. Hampus now. Oh, the side. Oh, it's, he's done for. But good damage dealt initially. Yeah, Nork is going to have a lot of issues now because Chopper can rat through the warehouse. I think he might be. No, he's gone down secret. Okay, so he's actually really set up for success here, Nork. Mir doesn't need to continue because Chopper already has the space. So if he regroups with SDY and they're able to isolate a fight onto Twist or onto Topside, you have Plopsky on the hut with the MP9. This round is still very doable. And this is what I was saying shouldn't happen for Spirit. They shouldn't be able to win the three on fives. But right now, they're looking good. Lots of time left on the clock, 50 seconds, a smoke and a Molotov for Mir, so he can do a lot with that. Dropping it towards Yard to keep eyes. Now he has two individuals out there. Nor can Twister both investigating. Touche, this is smart. Chopper could come back up through the vent if he gets control and they can pincer onto the site together. That means everything, Alex. It really is. If they both go squeaky, Plopsky can catch this timing. Chopper through the under. This hinges on Twist and Plopsky. Mir does take down one of the threats. Descending oh, as well. Noah. That's fire. There's no one there. Chopper's called it clear. Nice. This is a much better round from Team Spirit. Looking for their fifth already here on the T side of Nuke. It's been a while. Two consecutive CT rounds. But now again, Nork is faced with a, a dire circumstance. Do I really want to have a go? I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. I think they're probably having exactly the same conversation. You can see the knives are out back to lobby. So they will concede. And that's... Hinging off the back of the fact that Chopper got down, right? This is why you keep badgering on about getting someone down or at least having the denial of information necessary to have the, the idea or the CT relevance to rotate. Yeah, and when you look at where Hampus was, he was so far forward and, and couldn't get away. And if he could have gotten away, it would have been a completely different round, right? He gets two kills. He's now isolated. They eventually whittle him down because Chopper's on one side. You've got Mir coming in from the other. You could see Hampus is having to pick which side he's going to fight from. There's a timer on that. And he could have died from above on yellow. Anything could have gone down. But the preservation, while Rez was trying to keep him alive, I believe it was. Rez was the other player coming in to try and assist him from, from main. When Rez goes down, well, 
moment you've given it all up, and that was all just to try and keep Hampus alive. So maybe if they just let him die, given up that space, they could have been playing a 4v3, but in doing so, they played a 3v3. And for some reason, Spirit are very, very, very good at these rounds. We've seen it happen time and time again. Where did Rose die? He was... was would have been close towards main, uh, I believe, because he would have been trying to assist to help that out of uh, Hampus, Hampus right. so push forward. Right? You don't want to leave your teammate on an island in that scenario, so he was hanging around doing his best. Unfortunately... He gets taken out by Chopper from that secret position. And Spirit have five rounds on the board here. Disbalance doing fantastic work. 121 points of ADR. We spoke about his uh, weapon or kill distribution over his career. The AWP is, is huge for him. It's like 60-something percent. And the AK-47 comes in there at number two. But it's more of a ride or die AWPer is what you see of him. We've actually seen some great rifle rounds from him. Keeping the AK going into round number eight. The guns are back out. Lost Burner starting to build up here for NIP. So they can get a viable buy. I like this from Nork. He's going to be able to get so much information that Secret is no longer the main point of the attack. The CTs will be in much more comfortable positions for the take so long as he can maintain that. He's got Hampers in support for now. Magic's with the bomb on his back. Posture. So this is a God Flash as well. This balance got it all lined up. Maybe this is more my cup of tea. I get to stand still. Stand still. Make sure I'm staring at the correct pixel. Look at the thing of a bob. So it's just between those two ghiblies. What's I'd he do a rush on? with this one, though, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Oh, touche. The whole ladder jiggy. That, but you can do the rushy ones. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Okay, so when it touches the door, hoopity over. Right, Rez on the switch up. New position. That time pays oh. off. Nicely done by Plopsky. Plays it in well. Yes, Rez will fall for it, but by now the bomb is down. The Molly's isolated the player. Chopper in disbalance. We've seen those kind of, I don't know, 2v3s, but this might be a little bit too far. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely been keeping up, but <laughs> this is a very tall order. This is a venti chocker fropper chappuccino. Kind of miss Starbucks. I don't. I don't either. I've got all my pretentious German hipster coffee now. Yeah, I really yeah, like They it. don't do nitro cold brew here. No, they don't, but I actually I had a conversation with a man in Berlin about this. Yeah. And uh, apparently the nitro tap is really it's expensive and no one drinks it, so it's they don't just not prominent in Europe. I guess they haven't had it out here yet. Exactly. No one's No one knows. It. Yeah, Look, if, I love if it. If Coffee Gang was a little bit closer to our area, they do a nitro cold banging... Nitro cold brew? Well, they probably do a cold brew. I don't think it's a nitro oh, yeah. cold brew. Sorry, they do a banging... Just tastes a bit like just Guinness. coffee. Oh, just good coffee. Just yeah. great coffee. Yeah, they do good coffee. We've got, there's like always a good couple of spots here. Bay Area Burrito. Oh. They're one. Game changing. Coffee Gang. They're another. Yeah. Find your favorites. I could do a burrito. I could love. You could know. <laughs> the catering is good. It is. I know, Chad. Oh, I know you Chad. and your bloody boyfriend love, love your, the catering. Look, I don't know I where Chad was this morning. We came into the office. He just vanishes. He keeps telling us to give the guy a pat on the back. And I'm like, yeah, man, I get it. It's good food. I just think compliments to the chef, the man that feeds us. If we keep him happy, he's going to keep bringing us good food, right? But if it's his job, he'll probably keep bringing us good food if we don't say anything to him. You remember the catering we had the other week, don't I you, do, Alex? I do, you're right. Positive so, reinforcement. There Chad. we go. I understand. Let's try and look at the positive side of life. Round nine, not to be confused with... Round 10, Thank which you, is coming Chad. next. Potentially. Going to be seeing a fast molly over towards main, and it's exchanged by the CT. So this is your typical nade exchange. Let's put Plopsky into prime position to hold Nork in the same set of circumstances over towards the ramp room. I really hate this job, especially when you're against such good aimers. He's got Twist in support here, which is nice. He'll be able to hopefully draw our attention away, enabling Twist in this off angle to punish. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's just it's so nasty, especially when you've got some Russian monsters who are willing to just si wide swing you and blow your head off. It's really quite intimidating. Outside smoke's coming in, just with a nice little lineup. That's your standard wall. We are genuinely seeing players now pick to buy the Mac 10. Yes. When they could have had an AK-47 or a Khalil. This is just future is now. Yeah. I, I do like the implement, like the idea of it, right? I, I like the kind of like back in our day. I know. God, they'll be playing spawn-based Counter Strike soon. Chad, I know what will happen. Yeah. Oh no, that's one of my Thrill. dreams. Like. I know. That's very, very much a, an advocate for spawn-based. Whoever and pulls it off will be the best team in the world. Yeah. Charlotte's the closest at the moment. Now, with the incendiary in the hands of Nork, chances are, if you can buy time enough to get a smoke... Oh, they're run boosting. Oh, no, they're going to peek on the corner. This is going to be a high elevation angle. This is a hard adjustment for him, but he does get it. Needs to fall back. The incendiary's integral. Oh! He's flapping around. He has to hit the oh! shot instead. Plucks Chopper out of the air, and he needs a third. Magix keeps us competitive. Bomb needs to go down. It's Twist's responsibility to stop it. 20 seconds. He knows time's on his side. The clock, his best friend, the flank, coming in to lock him in. And now Magic's relieved some pressure. 14 seconds, Lauren. This is intense. Incredibly so. Bomb still with Magic's. Uh-oh. That's huge. That's a big help. That's a plant. 
Bomb goes in, Rez, Plopski. Oh, wow. Oh, no, Plopski went in on his own. Rez now left in the 1v2. Left and right, he's going to isolate one for free. That's a little bit of a fumble. And now Sundar Young, I wonder. Did he see anything? Oh, he's got a good idea. Molly goes in, Sundar Young forced forward, creeping into it. The Molly just about licks, and you can see Rez there perfectly played. Yeah, that was really well played by Rez. Just being able to find not only the flash to force him into the wider angle, then he pushes in the incendiary. It was all very well utilized. And uh, that's the kind of Counter-Strike I enjoy watching. I also want to say that Team Spirit managed to, again, make an unfavorable situation favorable because of their raw aim. These guys are gamers. Let's watch this one again. Well, so it opens up with the two quick ones here from Nor. Great stuff. With the Molotov, it, I, look, it's here nor there on whether or not that would have done a lot. They might have just extinguished it and pushed forward. But the key factor is what you're highlighting, Alex. It was a three on five again, right? It was another round where they had a big advantage and Team Spirit almost clawed it back. Now they didn't win, but if we want to look at what they did do, they took some guns away from NIP here. So they're going to have to reinvest right now. That's why Rez was trying to get back the AWP, trying to make sure he could get the big green. Don't do it. Leave him oh, alone. No. He's an innocent no. mouse. <laughs> Animal cruelty on the broadcast. The, the, the hostage the hostage noise really should come into play there. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Just on the, only on the left ear too. It's very close, isn't it? It's the full on ASMR. Oh God, I had some great agency games yesterday, man. So, so how did it go? Talk me through it very we briefly. We lost. They, they were right. definitely like proper sweaty, like double mollying, taking out, yeah, just real sweaty stuff. But it, like they still barely won, which was kind of okay, adorable. That's nice. Like that's they were nice. they were cocky and proud of it, which is like embarrassing for them. But regardless, it was a lot of fun. You're such a mean girl at heart. <laughs> You've oh, got I, a little heart. burn book. I've got a burn book, definitely. <laughs> <I know. laughs> oh. Oh, that's the little black book you carry around. All right. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought that's where you kept all the dates for the coming events in. But I see, I see, no, no, I see. No, 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 no. He's got pictures of us and nasty words. And this Throw darts at your round. faces. Please don't do that. That's Obviously, very printed visual. out faces, not <laughs> real ones. Ow. Here we are. NIP's buy is actually great. I I want to go back and count the count the pennies here. Who's buy? NIP's. Why, why are you happy about it? Well, because they lost the round and only had one player survive. They won the round. Uh, yeah, they won the round and only had one player yes, survive. Yes, Sorry. Yes. They might get a plant here. This is this is fantastic work from Spirit. Didn't invest. Get the bomb down again. They've done oh, such God. good work. Always a threat is disbalance. And now Hampus oh has gone down gosh. too. They consistently make this oh awkward. Look at them do it again. 28 HP for disbalance. Nork sweating bullets now. And oh Sendry in no. a full defuse. That's not the plan, surely. Oh no. Okay, sound cue. Trying to draw him into the fight. Disbalance again, playing this like a absolute go. gangster. 10 second defuse. Time. Not like this. Nork doesn't have a clue. The sound cue and the frag. Has he got it? It's going to be close. That's real damn close. He has. Whoa, this balance has single-handedly continued to put sweat on the brow of NIP. All right, new plan uh, if I'm NIP. Don't let them get lower control because as soon as they are getting that door side, every single round is seeming winnable. That was just Tech Nines and Deagles. Like, the flurry, the fray, they're just in the most awkward Aww. spots. Eesh. All right, all right, all right. Well, this one's got some spice to it here today. Five, spirit. five. Coming in with some real fighting spirit. That's one player surviving yet again for NIP. They lose a round. They are in a bit of strife. It's got pace. It's a quick and They're already out. Popsky up top, though. That could have been good. Does get one for his troubles. Did a bit of damage towards Mir, but by now they've taken the top side. So the pace change. Going to catch maybe NIP. Oh. That's good. Missing the molly means he's... Oh. Well, okay. Pulls the second out of them. That will give them <laughs> more time in the grand scheme of Is things. It's the one way. They're doing the one way. Oh, you're bang on. Look what it gives him. Uh, ah, well, they have, an they have an answer. Oh, NIP have to save, don't they, Chad? Yeah, NIP went for scissors and Spirit went for rock, so... We all know how that one unfolds. A little bit of a better perspective of that one way. Very obvious it's happening, so, you know, don't be afraid to throw some bullets into it if it is dropped. But there we have it. Is this the Spirit we wanted, right? This is... Certainly at the moment. I, I, I don't want to put too much credit... Ah, oh, this sounds weird. I don't want to talk it up too much to the fact that I just balance is having a nutty game, though, right? Like, he is he is really, like, ahead of the Switched others. On. So maybe some of those 2v3s, 2v4s, arguably some 2v5s, have gone a little bit closer because he's just mad popping off. But they're getting into those positions to do this. And even those late game hits, those late round hits, have been looking quite diligent and planned out. They don't they don't fizzle out anymore. But the way Chad framed it is is a, is a perfect way. I mean, you know, he's right. If they if they lose another round here, like NIP 
they could be victims of nearly seven, eight rounds on the T side of Nuke. That's just that's just magnificent for the Team Spirit boys. They'll be happy to boast about that one. Hampus is trying his work outside again. Let's see if Chopper's prepared. He's likely he's going to be swinging in. Shadow! Still not the advantage to convert. Now looking for the dunk. Nork's nade doesn't find a thing. Early first blood. These opening kills favoring Team Spirit in these last few. It's just insane with the low money that you have left over. If you keep one or two guns up, that you can drop the famuses across. It's just, it's bonkers. It's necessary though, right? Like that's, I think the hunt is going to become more and more prioritized by teams and the, the decision to do so will become... <gasps> Okay. Well, there's two frags. A dunk onto Chopper eventually found. And Nork as well onto Magix in that outside yard area. So two bodies dropped on the red container and now advantage NIP. Well, you say that. It does seem as though Spirit <laughs> take these moments. Touche, touche. Here we go, boys. Time to get it. Uh, but let's see what they can do. They don't have the step to the lower side. They don't have some of the keys that they did before. But let's see what they do to try and garner those. I'm really curious how you want to turn a 3v4 into something almost favorable. And oh. do have I just balance either way. But this is a dirty off angle. It is. However, last time we watched Oboe, he tried every trick in the book. And every time, the one thing Spirit could do was this clear. Yeah, again. Very procedural. All three of them on the flight paths. Nork's done well. Double kill. Knows his potential for a mere hunt. And that's the push oh, perfectly timed stuff. With again. the bottle of flame. And they're doing it again. One. Yep. It's down advantage spirit. Right. After that first blood. If they go low sight though. Oh, Rez is in the prime position. For the denial. Bomb's loose. He can survive here. Flash to relocate. Mir has to get that bomb down. And Rez it up. knows it's been picked up. Is it a fake? Rez isn't sure, holds it. Can't believe Mir's gotten away with that. And still, Rez does thrive. A triple kill in the round, a successful retake. But you wouldn't believe it, Chad. Another one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and Rez has been the hero of two of these rounds that NIP have converted. True. So he's stepping up in a very big way for them here within the first half. 6-6, six, six, it's neck and neck. And that's the real problem here. Because look, the money on the NIP side with the round win again, it's all just hovering around that 4K mark, right? Whoa, oh, oh, what? So satisfying. Nork pulled the trigger as Chopper Name was done. That, yeah. uh, that was some beautiful stuff there. This one here, Rez didn't want to go for the left eye sweep around the uh, swing, sorry, around the, the bomb box or the silo, I guess we could call it. Taking that right eye fight, able to win it. It's big stuff for him. But look at this. Twist has a, a, an MP5. Oh, you know, So, so the, the buy is a bit uh, quirky. Danger zone player here. Yeah. See everyone with MP5s. Hampus trying to find new ways to Ooh. deal with this outside threat. He's glaven, or he has the potential to do so. Just playing around that gap, and he finds Chopper. Real nice play from him. You can see that gap is exploited, given the fact there's no smoke in the feed. Fires off a shot. Mini is under Team Spirit rule. And Plopsky's done very well with the Famas to find one. Puts disbalance into a dire straight. He's already, though, off to his typical multi-killing ways. Five. Yeah, watch this. Oh, nearly. <laughs> Get hunted down. Finally, Twist gets a real weapon in his grasp again. And it's seven. Kills. Yeah, 18 frags. Christ almighty. 117 ADR at this point. He is having a bit of a, a banger right now. But I suppose if we want to look at the last six rounds of play, five of which have gone to NIP, and that's forced out a timeout of Team Spirit. So as they talk through their options, you can have a look at the scores that Lauren was just marveling over. Disbalanced, they're well and truly ahead of anyone else in the server. Five frags, shy of, well, clear, sorry, of Nork. Plopsky there on 10, 13 for Rez as well. He's been instrumental in a couple of clutches. Hammers with nine, Twist with three. Other side of things, Chopper down the bottom with four, six respectively for Magix and SDY, and Mia with seven to his name. I, I love the fact a lot of Idis Balance's work, to me, has been in those unfavorable scenarios, those... 2VXs or what, you know, 3VXs really. And his affinity to be able to open up ramp. The knowledge of the angles he's working with, we've seen that constant pressure. It's been very exciting to see what he can do as a player. And I think this is the first time I'm seeing him doing this in in this manner. I haven't been Certainly. too excited I mean, by that rifle play. Key side rifling, I mean, it's mm. far from easy. And I'm here on Nuke. But let's see if he can maneuver and flush him off again. Hampers with a different strat. Oh, say it. Oh, they're here. Yeah, look at that. Dispatch. Wow. He knows again, what he wants to this do. Guy. He's furious. And so are Team Spirit. They're in hot pursuit of their seven. Three bodies already dropped for the Swedish side. Once that gap spots the M4, disbalance his speed, his momentum into Hampus. You can see how caught off he was. Rare to see someone holding W from, the, from spawn. Being so aware that that could be a capability to catch him there when he wasn't the player who was fighting that last round either. I, I, I love everything that he's showing at the moment, but Twist, 
I don't think I've ever seen this gun get a kill in competitive play, if I'm honest. Not today. Not anyone today, but Popski now. Casual 1v5. <laughs> Starts well, but ends swiftly. Okay, well, Team Spirit are in a great position to win the half here. NIP have nothing to work with for the final round. Rez should be able to buy into a rifle if he wants with that Kevlar. The rest of them are looking at, uh, well, less than idea weaponry. Twist can't be too frustrated, mate. You're up with an MP5 in two rounds back to back. What, what, are you, what are you meant to do? Don't worry about it, you know? Let it go. And uh, Nork and Twist, I think that smile there was exactly that. Nork, Twist, and Hampus onto some Deagles. We got the Alligator out for Plopski here and Rez with the M4. So this is the last ditch temper against the full buy of Team Spirit in the first half. This is their map choice if you are just joining us. And wow, Plopski wants to get aggressive. Ooh, I like the Alligator skin he's got there. Almost fits the name. It does. A more flamboyant. Alligator. Like the one from uh, Princess and the Frog. You wouldn't have seen that, Chad. That's a Disney movie. I like Disney movies. Well, I'd add that one to your list. It's got voodoo and hoodoo. It's good. Yeah. New Orleans animated. It's really quite charming. Quite cool. She wants a restaurant. It's beautiful. It's a talking frog. Is it new? Relatively. Oh, I haven't seen it then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Check it out. I really haven't been up in my Disney movies. Hmm. Princess and the Frog, closely followed by Tangled. Strong list. Angle's excellent. Absolutely. Flynn Rider, otherwise known as OJ. Borg! Rez does not... Actually, uh -oh. yeah, that, well, that counts. And now from behind, North uh -oh. can strike. He's only going to do one and a half, but there's Plopski pocketing himself a couple of shotty frags. It will be Team Spirit down to seven. NIP and the half at eight. They'll take it. But just by the skin of their teeth, that's quite the tea side. We'll have to take a break before we see how the second half plays out.
to seven on the half. High energy in the studio today. We're live from Cologne, Germany. This is ESL Pro League Season 12, Malta Online. And the Ninjas clashing with Team Spirit, posting quite the T-half. They have impressed, posting seven on the harder side. This is Nuke, first map, first game of the day, 11th day of play. Let's get into it. GG.bet seem to believe that NIP do not have the edge. My goodness, is that really the case? Okay, let's get into the action with a fast top hit. Lauren and Sponge, the voice is beside me. Rez is back turned and he still gets the frag. Four on four, top side, no bomb down. Twist recovers it, three from the heaven position. Yeah, Rez waiting for that waterfall. See if anyone's coming. Eyes turn away for a second and they appear and I just balance. Starting off that CT side exactly as you'd imagine, already getting things back on track as Hampus left to deal with it all. Several angle, angles at several levels. He can't get any of them really. Not the ones that matter as his balance gets two. So yeah, things looking quite good for him to get into another good half. Yeah, if he can continue up this pace, it's going to be nuts. 22 kills to his name right now. Still a lot of rounds of Counter-Strike yet to be played here. And wow, Team Spirit are coming out the gate flying today. It's been a closely fought over affair, but one that has felt like Team Spirit could have taken every single round. We needed some big clutch scenarios from Rez to help keep the ninjas in it. Speaking of the ninjas, they're going to go for a force buy of their own. So as the weapons get juggled across, the money is sorted out. They will be wielding two AK-47s, a Galil in the hand of the aforementioned Rez, Nork on the scout, and Twist will have the Deagle. So Twist really taking the uh, the role of the supportive element of this team. Obviously, the kills within the pistol round, the plan of the bomb, all those good bits and pieces depends on who has the most money. With the gunnies right now, they will just be postured up towards the yard position, seeing if they can catch any stragglers. We can see with the radar, Team Spirit are playing quite the passive setup. I just balance defensively behind the aircon unit. Mia kind of setting up a bit of a double peak opportunity behind this single box. It's a nasty way for Hampus to go. You can just see the universe where he gets hit by a scout shot. By the time he's trying to find it, he gets finished off by Mia. It is going to be a nasty death if he continues to just try investigate Yard. It is always a risk. They likely will throw out wow. son of a Hampus. <laughs> Big frag. Rez has also found Mir, so that's outside problem solved. Never mind. Only Famas and shotguns now. Magics, though, I tell you now, there's very few players, Lauren, that use this Famas to such good success. Magics, he's already demonstrated his proficiency with it for the first three on three. But Rez is above him. And I don't know if his teammates are even cognizant that that's a possibility. I'm not sure. Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay. Magics is checking. Maybe trying to circumnavigate the presence. I don't know how he's going to make it happen. Oh my gosh, as if he got chopped. Well, they're fighting. They're both here. SDY can get them both. <gasps> he's fluffed his shots. So has Nork. Recovers the bomb, but damage inflicted. I think he hit the hip fire. Scout bullet lodged in SDY's calf. And now the bomb. And a one on one. Only 19 seconds. Rez would have to, excuse me. Yeah, it is Rez again, having to win the third 1v1 to dig his team out of a hole here. And it's not to be. SDY, three frags in the round, and it was magnificent to finish things off from an alligator to a triple kill. <sighs> okay, the force buy from NIP forcing Spirit all the way down to just one member. So the question is, do they want to go for Whoa. another buy? It's this 2400. This is a dark little pit of despair, yeah, though. But so. I don't mind it. I don't mind going for like something like this. You can be quicker. You know the CTs aren't going to have all the goodies with the utility unless they go for lesser weaponry. And they will go with the... Well, it's not an all-in. Look at the money left over. Hampus, 900, 650 for Nork, 400 for Twist. Rez with a little bit as well. Plopski's the only one with the full investment. Looks like it's a fast top. Yep, Flash comes in. Chopper, not too blind, but Sundar Young is. So it's on Chopper for now, does get overwhelmed. Sundar Young out of the Flash, handles it very well. Hampus, as said, the only one to really do any damage thus far, unless Twist can pull something out. He can't. I just balance, finds it. Where did that come from? Yeah, I don't know if that was... I think it must have just been a quick Maybe shot. Maybe through the... Yeah, I don't know if you did some nonsense through the wall there. I just saw the... Kill Silly icon. business. Yeah, plenty of mm. that. But yes, they break through. And so we are going to be seeing NIP having to uh, go again. So this is going to be the hero AK on Hampers to keep the money as low as possible. They don't want to let it swell with a freebie. If they just went into this with the Glock I'm or just you. the P250s, they might be able to get away with a clean round. Whereas we know next round for NIP, and Spirit know this as well, it's going to be a 3,400 in the back pocket. So they're just trying to get every single little bit of worth out of every round they can. It makes sense. 3,400, I've done the math, Chad. That is at least AK armor. Indeed. Now then. Twist, not so lucky. Chopper pushing for info, and the fact that no one was behind him suggests that that was the lobby lurk. Did, he, ooh, did Disbalance convey that information? He likely has. Hampus, there we are. That's the frag they were hoping for. They'll need more, though. Are they really boosting? Okay. 
Crossing now. Spallance conveying all of that information to his team that there should be a fast rotate. Magix is the one to position himself accordingly. This is an interesting turn of events. Already with two frags. Already. This could actually translate into to more. Disbalance can change things, though. Can, has, and maybe will. One minute, though, to do it. As patiently he'll wait for the T's to... Oh, this, I hate this fight. Like, <laughs> if you know there's an AWP of rotating ramp early, heaven to ramp a very common rotation for any AWP, that angle that Rez would be peeking into is no fun at all. Minuscule pixels to work with at that point. And a matter of patience, I'm pretty sure Spirit's quite well versed in patience, so not too worried about them. True. This balance having a little look. Still it's awkward soon, Lauren. Thinking about it, you're right. It's 30 seconds. Time is going to be of the essence soon enough. Magics and disbalance. So far, passing the first two tests. More frags is a priority, and they're not oh, going to let it happen. A perfect lockdown of that top site in a elaborate crossfire converted and you will see the real buy coming out now but that was what they were hoping for just forcing the rebuys onto two members of team spirit disbalance and magic stopping that from getting any more problematic and you can see these lovely double magic drawing their backs facing away from his orb so that's perfect nice conversion good work and there was a gap in their smokes for the cross we'll don't forget that let's see if that comes back to haunt the ninjas in the full buy but 26 now for our disbalance he is He's having one. Continuing this form, so it's going to be a go. yard control. This is aggressive. They want to stop this before it starts. Hampers. What? what Hampers? Shot. Okay. Well, that wasn't meant to go down that way, but SDY will trade. And they're straight onto the top side. They knew it was the yard control. This is great. Yeah, this is really swift reactions. Chopper has managed to, to knock one off its perch. Bomb now spotted. T smoke to try and buy time and space, but immediately locked out by the bottle of flame. It's time for NIP to see if they can win a two versus three. Plenty of those from Team Spirit. Disbalance was the spearhead. Let's see if Rez can be the same. God, their angles are strong. Twist got caught out in that same exact corner. If Disbalance gets any info. Oh, well, that's another multi-kill for Magix. Two rounds in a row. Okay, well, this one's quickly now getting away from NIP. The scoreline 12 to 8. Money is still good enough because of the max loss. But this shot here, look at that quick little flick of the wrist. We've been seeing so much like this in recent times, and Magic's on mop up duty, able to deal with it. I'm really also seeing a lot more silenced M4 coming out from, from teams, especially these lesser known names. We're seeing more of more and more, and while well, NIP are taking another timeout, and they have one remaining after this, so they need to make something work. We can see again the purchase coming on through. Here's Rez, probably listening to the dulcet tones of threat in Swedish. Swedish. With the Ys instead of the Js. What's your favorite wine instead of a J? Yeri can? Yumpy. Yump? Yeah. Oh, yumpy. Not Yampy. Filled with yoy? I'm always filled with yoy. Cat. Happy Don't birthday, we. I guess. Looks like some birthday balloons floating in that uh, webcam. I do like seeing... Well, Slice of humans. Existence. Sounds weird when you Wait, say it. Uh, slice of life. Mm, yes, I do like a behind slice the of human. Behind the counter community. I like the cannibal Richardson. With a nice <laughs> That was actually, it still is one of my favorite movies. Silence of the Lambs. What's it called again? Silence of the Lambs. That's the mm. one. Don't know what it says about me as a person, but I think it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, Storytelling. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> 8 to 12, though. Story of NIP being the team that Spirit feared is kind of a questionable one, it feels. And we've seen Spirit on a high point. Ooh. Some individuals looking good and some unique smokes coming out. Yeah, very much so. Is this, I think it's their take on the L frame by the looks of the landing. But look what Mir is going to react accordingly. He wants to try and peek out on the flashbang. Firing off those shots. Much harder to pinpoint with the silenced M4, as Chad's outlined. Main's open, though. Plopsky has a chance here. Oh, look at this game, this cat and mouse game between Mir and Plopsky. So much. Oh my god. As it fades, it's Mir's frag. And that was the rifle. That was their best chance. That was the way to open it up. Nork relieves some pressure. A huge amount of it. Chopper, quick to behead one. And they look to head towards ramp. Oh, I dispense is about to be there. Maybe not, boys. He's so precise. He's looking for 30. He can get it in this round if he wants. Oh! Yes. One bullet, 30 frags found. And two of them. In quick succession, magnificent. That is going to put Spirit on 13, and we are nearly at the breaking point here. So strap yourselves in, keep your hearts 
Or rather, hold your breath, because this one could go downwards very quickly for the NIP. Looking at the quick recap, that has not been a single T round posted over the course of the second half. It was an 8-7 half in favor. We were already pointing fingers that this was a very strong T posting, but now we can see we go. this wall of blue unable to budge. Yeah, last chance to dance potentially for an IP. Their A rounds and this buy better have some fruit to it. CT side looking just as diligent as their T side was, and it's exciting to see what these boys can do. Now, Popsky has got a bit of room. What he does with it, we'll find out. All of the, All the NIP boys still just kind of, what, sifting through. They've gone into warehouse, right? Yeah, so they've beaten the flash. So I just bounce covering this off. Unless they run boost, he's going to have a massive advantage here. They're just posturing and holding up right now. So they've taken secret control. They have warehouse control. Chopper has squeaky door control. Let's walk straight past him. The bomb is in warehouse. Yeah, it's not very awkward for... I think campus is coming yet. above him, no? Yeah, okay. You might check this. They've left topside completely here, so they're aware that this is a possibility, but look how far Spirit is searching. They're everywhere else. That's... That's the bomb. That's not it. He might have another one here. Hampus needs to flank. A flash and across the main. Turns it. Stayed. Chopper found Hampus. Okay, Rez. <sighs> Again, he's having to try and bail him out of these, but it's not easy. A 2v3, you still got that UMP. I guess Popsky's got some room garnered, but where's Magic's in this? He's in a prime position for the one taps, and he does finish it off with style. <laughs> That's real nice, neat and tidy. Go grabs his cheeky little nade from the corpse, and he'll be happy to convert the 14th still unbeaten spree from Team Spirit's defensive. Very impressive stuff. And seeing the uh, the synergies, you know, we often talk about the partnerships outside, Chad, your yeah. electronic, your simples, your, couldn't give you the Astralis example. Your it Glaive changes so much, but does. it would have been Glaive before with Glaive Dark Device. Glaive. Thank you. But Mir and Disbalance have, in particular have been very, very much locking this one down. Here's another prime example of it. Nice shots from Rez, but look at the way Magic's cleaned that one up. The one warning shot. And then just to soften up for the spray. The game's definitely been broken down into more digestible bites. And what I mean by this is, and this is what I try and talk to players about when I ask them questions. Oh, there's a little Eevee on the back of that guy's chair in the middle of it. your favorite Pokemon? Yeah, that, no, that was the Growlithe or whatever it was. Growlithe. Um, 31 year old man talking about favorite Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, um, the game with the more digestible. <laughs> yeah, but this one has guns and shoes. Oh, yeah, oh that's much cooler. cooler. And it's manly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you were the kid that was like, no, my Hot Wheels needs a skull on it. I'm a big boy. My mother said I could they go to her cool. dancing school or I could go play football with my father. So I went and played football with my father. Oh, wow. You're really conforming to those gender stereotypes. Aren't I? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so glad toxic masculinity is a thing of the past. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's gone too serious. No one knows what to do. Mir does. Yeah, I was about to say, Mir's got a good idea. But NIP, what do they do with this? They've been like, hitting the head against a wall here. Flash, Flash comes in. Mir. Bop. Oh, ah! that's not bad, too. Oh, what? Even a third. Wait, Where did Hampus come, Where did from? come from? Did he, he drop off over his head? Yeah, yeah, he had to have done. Okay, what? the timing on that is wild. Just casual TP around the map. Yeah. <laughs> He's rocking that uh, mod status that you got playing DayZ, Lauren. That's the one. He's everywhere. Okay, well, I find it very difficult for Nork and Twist to get back into this. Like, they've just been shut down before the round even got started for them. So, round 23 looks like it could just be Team Spirit posting 15 early, and that's NIP without a single round here within the second half. Their T side, it's been stalled out. It's been stopped. And to get the bomb, I just bounce. Tags up Nork. That's more than enough damage, more than enough info. And they just shy. Mir's on for the ace here, and he gets it. That is quite the way to secure a whole lot of map points. Big start, broken money, 3.5, 3.8 at the highest to lowest. Not pretty for them, and this is how it all started, a flashbang. That's Hampus completely missing the mark there. Wow. And here's and the final shot, clean as you like. I really enjoyed watching different players out here. I think it was Electronic before, was having a really nice game, but very different. It wasn't quite like this at all. Mm. These unique approaches, different ways of holding the very similar area, but it is 15 to 8. This could be the last shot at it for the Ninjas, and what a shocker a result. Spirit coming out, all guns blazing, just balance the perfect way to begin what could be the end for an IP here. Yeah, this is, I mean, I'll remind you, one win, two losses for both teams. A rocky start, was as it was described by Rez, but 
off the back of their great success at Cologne, it does seem that the Ninjas have had a little bit of a deceleration. And that's not certainly to take anything away from Team Spirit. They've played a fantastic game here. Individually brought through by Disbalance. We've seen Magics with his strong CT performances in that lower site. And don't disregard Mir, who continues to be a nuisance to anybody that wants to consider a late lurk outside. Is that really a solo bomb? I mean, I have to remember there's only three of them, but he is so alone. And he has no real options available to him. Rez did say in the interview that uh, they beat the Nemesis team of Vitality, so you have to look out for them. Sure. The bogey squad for the ninjas in late 2020, but this one's over. Plops, he's up the Mac 10, up the then he goes, and do we call it? We call it. I think we call it. Go on the tower, ref, it's over. <laughs>